Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your FPS in the new Resident Evil 2 remaster. Uh, first of all, uh, for the gra graphic API, make sure that you're playing DirectX 11 if you have an NVIDIA card. But on AMD card, you should definitely test it because my uh, RX 580, uh, I'm doing like 3 to 4 uh, FPS more than the uh, DirectX 11. So if you have an MD card, just make sure that you're doing a couple of tests before changing any uh, graphic parameter. And after that, you can do your change. On my NVIDIA card, I'm using an RTX uh, 2070 and I'm doing better with the DirectX 11. Also, make sure that you're using full screen. You will gain a, a couple of FPS over here. I'm using 10, 1080p. Uh, for sure, if you have a laptop, integrate video card and stuff like that, don't play this game in 1080p. Just go with 720p will be better for you. Rendering mode, I'm playing at normal. Image quality, stay, stay uh, at 100%. You don't want to downscale too much. Uh, you will see like a lot of pixel in this game. Uh, honestly, the, the game is running really smoothly on my computer. So I think this guy is more for like people who don't have a graphic card or an old one or laptop and stuff like that because this game is pretty smooth. Refresh rate, 144 Earth. Make sure that you're matching your monitor. Uh, I'm using frame rate variable. I don't lock my FPS in this game. VSync at off. So now let's start with the graphic parameter. First of all, anti-aliasing. Um, I'm. You should definitely use FXAA if you have like an entry level computer. You don't want to remove the anti-aliasing in this game. You will see too, like line breaking and stuff like that. Everything is moving. So for sure, test FXAA. If you're getting your 60 easily, for sure you can go higher with this one. Texture quality, I'm using I, uh, really cool thing with this game. You can see how many uh, gig that uh, of your VRAM that you're using. So I have eight gig on my card. I'm using uh, this one because the other one is a little bit tight, uh, depending uh, what which uh, graphic parameter I'm choosing. So I'm playing with this one. Texture filter quality, I'm using Trilinear. Uh, you will gain a little boost over here, one to two F, uh, percent of increase if you compare with high and I and ISO. But the big chunk here, it's mesh quality, shadow quality. Just shadow quality to put this one at low uh, with the contact shadow. Honestly, you will gain like 7 to 8% of increase of, of your FPS. So it's pretty huge. Uh, mesh quality, you will gain 2 to 3%. So nice chunk over here too. Um, screen space reflection, you can definitely turn this one at half. You will gain a nice 2 to 3% of increase. So this one really important. Uh, subsurface scattering, not very important. You can stay at on. You will not gain a big FPS with this one. Uh, volumetric lighting quality. This one is huge too. So definitely you can put this one at low. If you remove it completely, for sure you will gain like a big chunk of FPS. But you will see that the ambience of the game changed too much for me. So definitely use low. Particle lighting quality. I'm playing this one at low too. You just have two options for this one. High or low. Um, you're not necessarily gain more FPS, but it, your FPS will be more stable on the entry level computer. Ambient inclusion, I'm removing this one. I'm getting three to four FPS just by removing it, so pretty nice. Bloom in this game, not a big increase. Honestly, it's two to three FPS, so definitely uh, if you're still struggling with your 60, you can remove it. Lens flare, this one kind of important, but it depends where you are in the game, honestly. Uh, but still, you can gain the 2 to 3 FPS by removing it. Motion Blur, I didn't see an increase of FPS, but I just removed this effect because I don't like the effect. So, I'm put this one at, love, at off. Depth of Feel. Uh, depth of Feel in this game, not a big chunk too. I'm getting like 1 FPS of increase. So, not very important in this game. And Lens Distortion, for me, it's a pretty, uh, it's a nice increase, honestly. I did a couple of tests. I was uh, really surprised. Uh, you can gain 3 to 4% uh, percent, uh, when you're removing lens distortion. So kind of important one too. So that's about it for all the parameter inside of the game. Now I will show you where is the config file. It's pretty easy. Right click on the game. Go properties. Local file. Rose local file. After that go to Resident Evil 2 config. So this is the, um, the config file with all the parameter that you change. Uh, so everything is there if you have something that you want to change quickly or add stuff This is where you have to do it. So that's about it guys If you have any question just comment in the YouTube section of the video post me your rig so CPU GPU RAM 
Uh, really important, make sure that you update your uh, driver of your video card because sometimes like AMD and, and Nvidia, they're, they're just pushing like new uh, driver for a new game and you will gain a big chunk of FPS. So this is really important. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.